Hi, my name is Carrie Weckelo, and I'm from Northern Virginia. I'm an executive, mom, and yoga teacher. And I am passionate about helping companies create and maintain thriving organizational cultures. And I wanted to share a bit of my journey. It was 2010, and from the outside looking in, I had the perfect life. I had two amazing children, a husband. We both had successful careers, beautiful house, and we were living the dream or so I thought. Until the day I received the call. You know the call that changes your life. Maybe you find out a loved one is sick or that yourself is sick. The call I received was to find out one of my childhood best friends had tried to commit suicide. She was the happy, uplifted, positive one of the group. And that she would want to end her life made no sense to me. I dropped everything and went directly to the psych ward. And as I entered the hospital, my senses were heightened. The sterileness of the environment, the antiseptic smell in the air. And as I was walking down the hall to see my friend Sadie, I witnessed a woman in a numb, medicated state walking by. I saw a man clawing his way out of his room. And in that moment, I thought to myself, we don't belong here. I found out that my friend Sadie had over leveraged herself financially and the only way out she thought was to commit suicide. In the weeks, the months to follow, I was angry at her for wanting to leave us. I was angry that she wasn't being her authentic self and being truthful to us. And one day I was on my yoga mat, my arms were outstretched, I was in a nice little ball, and the tears began to fall. I wasn't angry at Sadie, I was angry at myself, because I wasn't being my authentic, truthful self. I wasn't happy in my marriage, and I wasn't satisfied in my career. So I decided to take an inward journey. I did 500 hours of yoga teacher training, three years working with Sonia Cochette, countless self-help and business books. And along that journey, I did decide to leave my marriage. And I was close to becoming a yoga and meditation teacher until fear set in that I was now a single mom and that wouldn't be a good financial choice for me to make. And as I thought about it, it was that I didn't want to compartmentalize my life anymore. I wanted the yoga mindful carry to merge with the business corporate carry. So I was going to be my most authentic self in all my interactions. So I went to my boss, who happens to be my brother, and he's the finance analytical guy running the consulting practice, and I'm the people person that runs the internal operations of the firm. And I told him that I wanted to shift our focus from production to our people, and that we could create an organization in which people were excited to come to work every day. And luckily, he said yes. And over the years, we've created a culture that is thriving, and we've infused people as our main focus, where we are providing intentional leadership as a team. We're practicing effective communication. We're handling our issues as they come up. And we're also focused on work-life balance and leading by example with prioritizing our personal wellness. In 2016, my finance analytical brother came to me. He had seen the numbers. That year we had zero attrition, our average tenure was at eight years, and he wanted to offer what we had created to our clients, and I happily said yes. In 2017, we launched Culture Infusion, Nine Principles to Create and Maintain a Thriving Organization. We have a book, e-courses, seminars, coaching and consulting services so we can offer our clients and support our clients on how they can create and maintain thriving organizational cultures centered around their people. And I am thriving personally as well. I have a great relationship with my kid's dad. The Yoga Mindful Carry merged successfully with the Business Corporate Carry. 
So I am now being my most authentic self in every interaction, and I'm helping more people along the way. And as I close, I ask you, what is one thing that you can do to be your most authentic self? Thank you.